Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to show you how to install your presets into Lightroom Classic Creative Cloud. This is for versions of Lightroom post 2018-2019 onwards. Older versions, you're going to want to watch the older video um, which I've linked in the YouTube comments underneath. So this is for Lightroom Classic. Any versions kind of higher than 8.2.1, I'm going to be showing you this in 8.3.1. Um, by the time you're watching this video there may be uh, more updates but this is the same principle. First off you're going to want to um, locate your LSP download. I'm going to be showing you this with the LSP newborn Lightroom presets. This goes for all LSP presets and brushes so the same principle. You're going to want to unzip the file first. This is a compressed zip folder for your download. This makes download a lot simpler and a lot easier. Um, depending on your operating system, whether you're using a Mac or a PC or you know kind of what software you use, there'll be different ways of unzipping this so please do Google if you're unsure of how to unzip the folder. Because I'm on a PC I'm going to right click extract um, and what this is going to do, you can choose a folder it's doing on my other screen, this is just going to um, set up a folder here that is unzipped. So that's just still working in the background, there we go. So now I can double click this and access the newborn Lightroom presets. Open this up, you will have brushes and presets. We're going to do the presets first. Again, I'm going to open this and you'll see you have different versions of presets for different versions of the software, unfortunately. Um, there are different versions of Lightroom. The, there is Lightroom Classic, Lightroom uh, CS4, CS5, CS6, you have Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom um, CC, which is now just called Lightroom, and ACR. <laughs> So the version you want to open is here, Lightroom Classic CC Creative Cloud. So let's leave that for a moment and open up Lightroom. You're going to want to come up here to the develop panel where you will have a, a single image open that you're working on here. Where it says presets, make sure you selected the drop down. You will see you might have a folder here, um, a drop down option called user presets. Right click this and hit rename. This is quite important. Um, I'm hoping Lightroom fix this in the future. You may not need to do this. But right now uh, Lightroom is, is kind of bulking all your presets into user presets. So you might want to call this my presets or something like that. This is a really good practice to do before you install your LSP presets. If you don't, it's fine. It just means your presets may be a little bit out of order. So you're going to come up here, add new presets, click on it, import presets and you're going to want to locate the folder where you saved and extracted your presets to. So I'm going to open this one up and again hit presets not brushes, make sure you hit presets and locate the right program, Lightroom Classic CC and here we have the LSP Newborn preset workflow. I'm going to open this and you will see there are lots of different files in here. These are all the presets in XMP format. So I'm going to select them all. Um, select them all however you like. I like to select the first one, hold down shift and select the last one. And then import. If Lightroom have uh, fixed this current glitch you may be able to just click the file name and import and it will import the whole folder without you having to select them. Um, and if it does that, then great, that's easier. <laughs> so they will have imported down here under where it says user presets. This is why we renamed the original user presets to my presets so they don't mix. I'm going to right click this, rename, and call it LSP presets. If you have more than one LSP set, you can call it, you know, the title of the set, whether it's white linen or the studio, this is LSP newborn presets, so I'm going to call it that and hit OK. Now you will see you have a folder here in the presets called LSP newborn presets or whatever you choose to call it. Hit the drop down and your presets will appear. You can hover over the preset to see the effect on your image. For example if we go for this one here, a basic baby cleanup, you can just click through each section here, choosing your lights, choosing your toning, choosing your colours. For more information on how to actually use the preset um, collection that you have, 
uh, please do watch the videos associated with that preset collection. So I'm just applying a few a few presets here. And you can go through and go through. You can also, once you've um, selected how you wish the image to look and you're happy with the edit, you can select a whole bunch of images in the set and then sync. Synchronize the preset across and this will change all images in the set. It's really cool. Okay, so the next step is to install your brushes. Installing brushes is a little bit different to installing presets. The most complicated part of using presets is actually the installation progress. Okay, so we come up here, um, this is where your brushes will be in this adjustment brushes icon here. But to install them, we're not going to click there. You're going to come up here to edit. If you're on a Mac, you're going to want to click Lightroom instead. If you're on a PC, click edit and find preferences. Click on the presets tab and you have two um, options here on location, show Lightroom developed presets and show all other Lightroom presets. You're going to want to click on show all other Lightroom presets because these are brush presets, they're not developed presets here in the develop panel, they're brush presets. So click on here, show all other Lightroom presets. This will open up a folder here double click Lightroom, scroll down and find local adjustment presets. This is where we're going to put the brush files. Find your folder where you had your presets open here, Lightroom Classic CC Creative Cloud, oh well, sorry, <laughs> back, and sorry brushes, the LSP newborn brushes for Lightroom, so make sure you go back to brushes and presets, okay, brushes. Open the uh, LSP Newborn Brushes for Lightroom. You also have instructions here in note format. And again, select the first one, select the last one. It's really important with brushes that you select all the files individually like this and drag the files over. You do not want to put the folder in like that so that a folder appears in here. Lightroom won't be able to read that. You want to put all these in individually and close it down, close it down. Now you're going to need to restart Lightroom. It's really annoying because the brushes don't show unless you restart. So I'm just going to close this down. Lightroom does require a restart after installing brushes. Back up again, come back on the develop panel. The presets are here as before. So let's take a look at the brushes. You come up here right on the end of this panel of icons is this kind of like a little round circle with a line here adjustment brush click that and you can make a brush here you'll notice here it says effect and it may say whatever it may say temp it may say contrast it might say exposure whatever you want to click here and you will notice you now have a list of your LSP brushes because this is the newborn set, we have baby brushes. So these are titled LSP Baby. You've got lighter, darker, warm up, cool down, brighten up face, reduce the reds, for example. So say we were going to click on the sharpen and pop eyelashes. I can now paint on like this and sharpen and pop those eyelashes. This allows you to really tailor individual areas of your image. And then hit new and I'm going to choose another brush, for example, reduce the reds. One important thing to note when you're using LSP brushes is the flow. Don't have the flow all the way up because they'll be really strong. You want the flow here, so imagine you know the, the effect of the brush is flowing out of the brush here. You want it to flow a bit calmer. This is a really good tip when using brushes in Lightroom because it allows you to build them up. Uh, a new brush, let's go for example, I don't know, lip brush. I'm just shrinking that down by hitting the bracket key and I'm just going to brush over the lips there. Anyway, so on and so forth. To get off the brushes you just click the brush icon again and it's gone. So that is how to install your presets into Lightroom versions higher than 8.2.1 on Lightroom Classic um, in your Creative Cloud subscription. 
You have other versions of Lightroom in there too, but this is Lightroom Classic. And there's also how to install your brushes individually with a restart. For more information about using the LSP Lightroom presets and the Lightroom brushes, um, please do go on YouTube or on the product page um, and you'll find the videos on the website or on YouTube of how to use those.